Hello everyone, this is DA from EA Academy. This is the fifth episode of the separation axioms of the topological space and today we'll see what is a T4 space. But again, before going to concept of T4 space, that is a normal space. So what is a normal space? If we have a topological space and there are two distinct closed sets in a topological space, and we're represented by A and B. So A and B are two closed sets whose intersection is empty. So this space is said to be a normal space if we have two open sets that separates A and B and also intersection is empty. So, so now if this property satisfies by a topological space, then this space is said to be a normal space. Again, what is a normal space that if we have two closed sets two distinct closed sets in a topological space and we have two open sets in a way that one closed set is a subset of one open set and the other closed set is also a subset of the other open set and when we take the intersection of such open sets u and v then we have empty set so this space is said to be a normal space now we can talk about a T4 space. So, so the formula is here that T4 space is equal to normal space plus the T1 space. So we can say that a normal T1 space is a T4 space. And it's also known as a normal Hausdorff space. Now talking about the examples of a normal space. So the most common example of a normal space is a discrete space of at least two points in the topology. So if we have that X contains AB and topology contains the empty set, the set A, the set B and the set X. So we have to check what are the closed sets here. So the definition of the closed set is that whose complement is open. So if we take A, then the complement of A is B and B is in topology, so that B is open. So this thing implies that the set A is closed. And when we're talking about B, then B is also up closed because the complement of B is A and that is open. So B is closed. And when we talk about X, then the complement of X is empty set and empty set is an open set. So X is also a closed set. But in the normal space, we're looking for two disjoint closed sets. So we have the closed set A and the closed set B. And now we have to figure out what are the open sets that contains the closed set A and B. So A is also an open set and B is also an open set. So trivially we have both A and B as a closed set and, and as an open set. So this is true for the definition of the normal space. So the other example, the very common example of the normal space is a metric space, that a metric space is a normal space. And this was the example of a discrete space. So a discrete space with at least two points or the two elements in the topology is also is a normal space. And a metric space is also a normal space. And the explanation of how a metric space is a normal space is quite time consuming. So I'm going to explain it here. And recalling that what is a normal space, that is the requirement of a normal space. We have two closed sets whose intersection is empty, and then we have two open sets in a way that this requirement is fulfilled and the intersection of, of the open sets is also empty. And what is a T4 space? A T4 space is a normal T1 space and also known as a Hausdorff normal space. And the very common examples of the of normal space is that of the discrete space and a metric space. So this is for now. We're looking for more such videos. Then you can subscribe this channel in order to watch more upcoming videos. We will meet in the next video. Till then, take care. Goodbye.